Well, howdy folks. Uh, this is Dimitri from Dimitri's. And that is Tormund. Oh yes, this is Tormund. Tormund was a um, um, surprise puppy. And uh, he goes to Alexis' sister. Uh, she knows about it already. And um, we are keeping him for a while to train him a little bit to make sure that he's been a good boy. Uh, Lexi is going to bring the big puppies in a second. So yeah. Ah, oh. for now let's just play with your Tom Wind. He's been really good boy. Hi buddy. Ow, that's my that's my foot. That's my foot, buddy. Yeah. Um if you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet, please do. We need at least hundred people to be able to stream through actual YouTube, not <coughs> oh my goodness. Not through third party apps uh as we do now. Um so then I'll be able to see all the chats and the questions mm -hmm. myself, mm -hmm. not with Lexi's help, because she has to look on her own phone now. Um, also, we have created a Facebook group, Limitri's family group. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Who is that? Big babies coming in. Big babies are coming in. Um, after you do this, can you share? <gasps> can you share the uh, stream first, and then also share it on Facebook group? Okay. <gasps> oh, hi guys. And these are <coughs> Caucasian shepherds. <coughs> yes, they are. They are three and a half weeks old. And this is Persephone. And that one is Nike. And this is Eos. Um, and yeah, so Tormund is ten weeks old. Um, these guys are three and a half weeks old. We're gonna do a weighing today. They, as you can see, they can walk around and waddle now. Their tails are so cute. So super cute. And you can see they're also pretty big. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Come on, Ayos. Ayos. Hi, Percy. Hi, Percy. Hi, Nike. Hey. Tell me what you're doing. That's a blanket. That's not for you to chew on. Um, so we have two buyers for Caucasian Shepherds. And yeah, that's what they're called. Caucasian Shepherds or Caucasian of Charkas. Russian Bear Dogs. Russian Mountain Dogs. A bunch of names. <clears throat> um, uh, we have two potential buyers. Um, we need to follow up with them. One of them... Um, removed Facebook page so we hope uh, her name was uh, Ashley no Shelby. Shelby Shelby if you're watching let us know that you're still interested yeah oh my goodness oh my goodness yeah this pretty puppies. <laughs> Did you share the stream? Um, you want to feed Tormund? Yeah, we, next week we're gonna put these little big porkers on, start weaning them off their mama. Um, <clears throat> um, when they grow up, well, they're gonna be 100th 
130 to 160 pounds. Um, we think that AOs, that one, will be about 160. This one is probably going to be about 150 or so. This one is the smaller one. Oh, Nike. Hi, Nike. She will be probably 140, 130. We'll see. We're going to do a weighing today as well. We'll see how much Tormund weighs. Yeah, a 10 week Pembroke Welsh Corgi pup. And how much these guys weigh? They're so super cute. Um, and they are three and a half weeks. Ayos. Come on. Come on. Oh, somebody peed. Oh, they're so super cute. My parents used to breed them. Um, since before I was born they are Russian breed they are very popular in Russia they are being used for protection for guard duties um, in like, you know prisons and on like prop private properties and stuff like that here in the US they are usually used for um, um, like livestock guarding, that's what they are. They are shepherds. And look at that. We got first bark box today. Let's see what these guys think about it. <gasps> Hi, Tormund. Tormund, go check out. The, what is that? Show us. Show it to us. That's Olaf. Is it's it? Not Olaf. It's just a snowman. Just a snowman. <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't be scared. Oh, those are Christmas lights. Yeah, if you guys don't know what BarkBox is, it's uh, 20 bucks a month or so. It's a monthly subscription thing. Uh, they send you a box like that. I think they have different sizes, do they? Yeah, you put your, the size of your dog. Yeah, so they, they have different sizes uh, and they send you uh, toys, treats, and stuff monthly. Um, yeah, and they're pretty cute toys too. Uh, oh, themed per month. Yeah, themed per month. They have the treats. Yeah, Some kind of stick. Chicken, chicken stick. Is that all we got? Is that all we got? That's all we got. Yeah, so they're a little bit too young for treats um, like that. Oh my goodness, guys, what is it? How many people do we have watching? Is anybody asking any questions? Six watching. Six watching, yay. No one asking questions. No one asking questions, super sad. Um, um, Again, uh, I'll repeat what I said in the beginning, if you guys weren't watching at that point yet. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, we have one of the Caucasian Shepherds available still. Uh, possibly two, because one of the potential buyers kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Uh, we are still waiting on her for a reply. Um, let's see what else. Uh, we have created a Limitris Family Facebook group, where you... If you own one of our uh, pups, you can post pictures and stuff. Uh, and if you're just interested in our pups, then you can kind of watch uh, progression of all our previous pups and stuff. Um, yep. So if you don't mind, share this stream now. Um, there is a share button on YouTube and just post it on social media. So we'll get a couple more subscribers and yeah get more fun going on yeah again this is persephone percy uh that one over there is aos and this one is nike they're again three and a half weeks old caucasian shepherds caucasian of charkas russian bear dogs russian mountain dogs a bunch of other different names for them they are three and a half weeks old, and that's Tormund. 
Hormund was a surprise puppy for Alexis's sister. Now we're keeping him for a little bit of training, uh, for um, crate training and behavior training and stuff like that. Yeah, these guys, as you can see, are all waddling around. This one is very snuggly. She likes to snuggle. She's just like her mama and her little tongue sticking out. Are you sticking out your tongue at me? Yeah. Oh. Hi. This is Tormund. Um, Let's put kind of them side by side so we can see a size difference between them. Oh, you can see right there. Three and a half weeks old, ten weeks old. Yeah. Also, I finally got some lights for live stream. So it's as you, if you noticed, it's a bit, a bit better quality. We get a bit more light in here. Hey! Oh, you got your teeth coming out, don't you? You start nibbling. Let me see. Let me see. Fun fact, uh, can, can you show me her teeth? I can't do it with my hand, one hand. Fun fact, these dogs have the largest canine teeth out of dogs. Oh, look at those. Oh my goodness. Um, let's do some weighing. Weighing, weighing, weighing. Okay, here's our baby scale. Because we can't use it like a kitchen scale or anything. Because these dogs are huge. Let's see. Alright, let's put Tormund. Tormund! Tormund, buddy. Come on, Tormund, buddy. Tormund is. Six and. Whoa. Hey, would you chill out for a little for a second? I think it's six, six, and, six and a half or so. So, Pembroke Welsh Corgi puppy, 10 weeks old, six and a half. Caucasian Shepherd puppy, three and a half weeks old, six and a half. <laughs> and that's Nike. She's one of the smaller ones. Let's put Percy in there. Percy, seven pounds. And let's put the biggest one, Eos, right there. Come on, Aos. Oh, 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 oh. Let me see, Tomond. Seven, Seven and a half pounds. Ah, they are so snuggly, guys, you won't believe. Ah. Ah. As always, we are we welcome everybody who wants to come and play with pups. If they're interested in pups and stuff. Uh, there are some precautions, of course. Um, if you're interested, let, let us know. Hey, you're chewing on my pocket. You're chewing on my pocket. Yes. Uh, we also got some questions recently about... Oh, look at them. Look at her. Um, some questions about shipping our pups, corgi pups and other pups, to Europe or outside of the US. We can do it. However, it's going to cost quite a bit. When I shipped uh, these guys' parents, Simba and Nala, from Russia, that's where I'm from, uh, it cost me per puppy about $1,500, uh, $1,500 to ship, just to ship. So depending on where you are, how far you are from US, it will cost probably from around 1000 to $1,500 to ship a pup. So that's expensive. Uh, we're gonna assist in any way possible, but yeah. Oh. Jessica said a friend <coughs> a friend asked if you would consider not cropping a Caucasian's ears. Um, we wouldn't unless you live. No, nah, we wouldn't. <laughs> um, so there are a couple of reasons for that. If you're talking about these pups, well, their ears are already cropped. We crop them at two days old. And here are the reasons. First of all, it's medical reason. If you don't crop their ears, their ears are like really big 
and almost like cocker spaniel ears. And they're not perky, like, let's say, corgis. Yeah, they're real close to the head, so, and they're really heavy. Yes, they're close to the head, they're heavy, they're thick. So basically what it creates is an incubator for all the bacteria in their ears. They get really bad ear infections, which can, you know, if, if not treated properly all the time, it's gonna, basically, it might even kill a dog. So that's one of the reasons. Um, second of all, it's a breed standard. Uh, if your dog, a Caucasian pup, or not the pup, when they, when they grow up, gets in any fight, or if they're running around and they get caught, their ear, get, ear, ear gets caught on something or in a fight with a dog, or if you're using them for protection in a fight with like coyote or something, if their ear gets damaged, then they bleed really bad from them. Uh, they say that dog can bleed out to death within 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, uh, if ear is damaged. So that's another reason it is a breed standard and kind of like, like a health reason. And third, and not the latest, the, the least, sorry, is a preference of ours. Uh, basically, we don't like how they look at all when they have ears, when they grow up. They look very uh, weird to us. As I said, my parents used to breed them since before I was born. Uh, I've been around these dogs all my life pretty much. So, um, yeah, it's personal preference. Um, yeah. Oh, you got stuck with a toy. <gasps> oh. He also like her daddy. Yes, Ayos is like her daddy, and also she's gonna be probably darker than Simba. She likes, she's kind of like, uh, just lays there and being very uh, calm. She's like her mommy. Percy is like her mama. Uh, let's show her, let's show their um, uh, tuxedos. So they all have tuxedos, little tuxedos, yes. Um, um, they all have very black undercoat. This one especially, yeah, as you can see. So, oh, there's not a tuxedo over there. So they're going to be really pretty. Uh, we thought in the beginning that Percy might be like Nala in terms of colors. However, you can see that. Oh, she got a little tuxedo. However, you can see that she starts being darker and darker, and Simba when he was born. He was like this color and over time he changed to what he is now. So if you follow, follow our page you can find the pictures of him there. So we think that Percy, that one, she'll be more like Simba than Nala. She, he, he, she might be a little bit lighter. You can see that here she, she's still very uh, uh, light but on her booty she is becoming darker and darker. Now this one, Nike, she probably gonna be exactly like Simba. And this one, Ayos, oh Ayos, hi Ayos. She probably gonna be even darker than Simba. She probably gonna be like Nala's dad. Oh, like Nala's dad. And Nala's dad was pretty much just pure black doggo. Jessica says, would you recommend Caucasians for inexperienced dog owners? No. We would not recommend Caucasians to inexperienced dog owners uh, because these dogs, if they trained improperly, they would, they could kill someone because they are, first of all, have uh, aggression in their blood. So if you don't raise them properly, they will be very aggressive, which is a an issue in its own. Second, they are just a giant breed. So, if they, especially when they're puppies, if they have an accident, if they pee, well, your, how your house gets flooded. If they poop, your house gets stinked up for two weeks. Second, uh, is that them being large dog, 
they obviously cost quite a bit in terms of maintenance. They eat, you know, significant amount. Our Simba eats about six to eight cups a day of food. Uh, when you take them to the vet, they uh, the bill cost obviously is quite high. So for inexperienced owner, it would be let's say quite a shock. All right. So whenever if we sell, whenever we sell these guys in our requirements even to be considered to be a dog owner of theirs there are several uh, things we go over first you have to have a property with a significant size backyard you have to have either a separate uh, like a kennel or something which is air conditioned if you want them to be outside dogs or you have to sign that if they're inside dogs, they will be inside dogs. Okay. Um, you have to have a fenced-in property, no matter where you live. Otherwise, again, they can run away and kill somebody. Uh, they, have they have to be socialized as well, obviously, as any dog, but there specifically. Um, uh, these girls, they don't have signs of uh, like a high aggression, so that's good. Um, basically, you start, if, if you want like an aggressive for protection and stuff, you start doing, doing that at 8 days old. You get the aggressive uh, behavior in them starting developing in 8 days old. And the way you do it, is basically start messing with them, and uh, if they are like um, they react. Re if they would react in puppy aggressive way these guys you can mess with them whatever you want this one is a little bit chappy but she is still okay she, she just sits there she's not trying to um, like bark at you or run run at you and stuff like that so these guys are good and that's partially because we trained aggression out of our big dogs, their parents. Um, uh, oh, oh, look at them. <laughs> um, yeah, basically we raised, because we knew that we're going to be bringing Simba and Nala. <laughs> um, we made sure, hey, are you humping? You ten week old <laughs> humper. <laughs> you being a man. She gonna st she oh, she gonna oh. ov overweigh you in couple weeks. Already. Already, yeah. Um, yeah. So basically, we made sure that Simba and Nala are not aggressive whatsoever because we knew that um, we gonna be bringing them. That people are gonna be coming over, and just uh, you know, we don't have like livestock or anything to protect we live in a very good neighborhood no crime around and stuff like that every neighbor has a gun anyway <laughs> so uh, uh, yeah ah. How many people do we have watching? Nine. Nine. Um, can you guys uh, like uh, comment who is watching? Uh, do we have any people from the last litter of these dogs, of the Pembrokes? Um, uh, well, anyway, I guess if you are watching, guys or not, Ali, Brian, and uh, Linda. Or uh, what's Linda's husband, Anthony, or uh, fiance? Um, as I said before, um, we usually give like a paper documentation with the pups since we we guys ship them ship them to you. All we can do is uh, I can still sh mail you physical papers, uh, like for a certificate of registration and stuff like that, for you guys to register. However, 
it's 21st century what would be much easier is if I just send you registration pin I'm gonna try to do it tonight um, I think I'm gonna have enough time I'm, I've been so busy it's ridiculous um, so uh, we're gonna send you on Facebook page registration pin and instructions on how to register your pup you go to AKC website all you need is that hey <laughs> all you need is uh, that pin and that's it yeah they are there are all three of them oh yeah all three of them if you haven't figured it out are girls they are they named after uh, Greek goddesses Eos, Nike and Persephone um, they are pretty timid yes which is good we'd rather be on the safe side Hormone, you are 10 weeks old, my goodness. <laughs> oh, he's loud. He's loud. Uh, he looks a lot like Hugo. Um, Steph or Toby, if you guys are watching. Um, that's the owners of Hugo. Uh, Daryl, Daryl, right? He was Daryl? Mm -hmm. Daryl from the leader of... Who, uh, the Walking Dead leader, what we call them, the theme of Walking Dead. Um, he looks exactly like him. So Jessica, uh, the owner of Torment, uh, find them on Facebook uh, or they have Instagram as well. Um, what, do you remember their Instagram? It's like um, Montgomery Kurganilius. Yeah. So you can see how Torment will look exactly from the moment of from from this age to Hugo is now like uh, what He's nine months nine months old there you go <gasps> hi buddy yeah somebody somebody's asking something uh, Lindsay said Laney thanks would be a good idea to bring Simba to the live stream one time and then Lindsay said, I can attest to Simba being such a sweet dog. We kept him for a week or so, took him to several parks and even an outdoor music event. He is such a people person and loves the attention. There you go. And then Steph just said hi, guys. Oh, hi, Steph. Haven't seen, haven't heard from you guys in a while. Um, have you guys been busy When's traveling and stuff? Yeah. When is the wedding? Or, or I know that you guys... Uh, Got engaged recently, so congratulations in order. Uh, We've been watching, but had trouble commenting. Yes, Tormund looks just like Hugo. Yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Hi, Eos. And these 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 pops are so sturdy, guys. Like, if you try to squeeze them, they're so uh, dense. You know, those little ones, when they were little, like three weeks, they, they seem very fragile. These guys, they're very uh, hardy, I guess. Yeah, um, about Simba being on a live stream, we can when we are outside, because he will not fit in this room. I mean, he will, <laughs> but it's going to be like impossible to do anything. He is bigger than Lexi. He is 155 pounds, I think, last time I weighed him. He is about three feet tall. Um, uh, like um, if he's just standing on all fours. And he is longer than six feet laying down. So, yeah, you guys can kind of uh, get the idea of how big these guys will be. Yeah, they they pretty much just started started actually walking, like a couple of days ago. Before that, they were barely waddling. Uh, you can see that they use their tails as much as they can for balance and stuff. Um, I will repeat: if you guys are watching and not subscribed to this YouTube channel, please do. We need hundred subscribers to be able to get the actual URL, proper URL for YouTube. So it would be like. Steph loves my socks. 
youtube.com slash limitries because now it's just a jumble of letters and if we have 100 subscribers we would be able to get the um, 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 to actually do streaming from f YouTube app not from this third-party app which is very painful right now yeah uh, we got a bunch of presents uh, from friends family from our new Limitris family so this is a corgi socks thanks to whom Dr. Mac. Dr. Mac, uh, the doctor at Lexi's work. Um, she is a, a vet tech. She works at Veterinary Clinic. Uh, she's gonna bring some more things we got for Christmas. Our friend got us this awesome uh, cups. Those uh, uh, what is called um, Arctic cups. So it's uh, you know it keeps drinks cold or hot. It's like thermos cup. So. She made that stencil herself uh, and has a name and mine is right there. So thank you Haley. Haley, Haley and Hannah, uh, two twin sisters. They also watch our pups when we travel or something. Um, they also work at Crossroads Animal Clinic where Alexi works. Uh, she's going to get more stuff. Oh, oh you get some aggression, eh? I'm gonna teach you not to be. Yeah. Don't don't be don't be don't be like those bad dogs. <gasps> and here's another one. This is a corgi blanket. Uh it's a gift from Dr. Mac as well. Uh Lexis Lexis uh veterinary clinic doctor. Uh pretty cute down this upside down splitting. Has um the red and white and the uh, tri-color yeah oh my goodness all right let's see what else. uh we've got gendry from ollie's owner um ollie is corgi a brother of tomun he went to austin no austin right Mother. ollie they're here. Oh, they're here. Okay. Um, yeah, can you show? So they got us this little gift. Uh, Ollie's original name was Gendry, and this is a Lego man of Gendry from Game of Thrones. And yeah, our last letter was Game of Thrones themed. Uh, it's super cute. Has that helmet and, uh, you know, the uh, hammer since he was... Blacksmith. Oh, what is it? What else do we have? Um, those little cards and stuff. If you want to show those. Yeah, we got some uh, Christmas cards or like blank blank cards with corgis on it and stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah, is that it? Mm. Are you sure? It seems like there was more stuff. Is that it? Yeah, do you have any more questions or comments? Yeah, Steph just said Ollie is in Houston. Oh yeah, Ollie is in Houston. <laughs> um, again, to repeat, Myself, uh, we have Facebook page, facebook.com slash Limitris. Uh, and also we have a Facebook group, which we opened recently. Facebook slash, ow, groups slash Limitris family. Uh, the group is where all our owners, well, our new members of Limitris family, new and old, uh, post the pictures of their dogs and stuff. So if you want to follow... Um, all of them and us and kind of <laughs> see how they grow up and look and stuff you can follow there you're not allowed to post unless you have a uh, our pup but you can surely like and comment and stuff like that and then of course our uh, Instagram 
instagram.com slash limitries we are trying to keep up with it I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to do it it's a little bit troublesome because we have full time jobs um, yeah and of course this youtube channel which I'm trying to grow uh, is by you know these streams and stuff so yeah subscribe like our page share the stream stuff like that so more people know about us and we can spread the cuteness look at it look at this cuteness oh my goodness oh my goodness yeah. oh. hi little one come on Jessica asked how is Tormund doing with his housebreaking he yes. is doing very good, actually. Um, he had uh, one accident the very first day uh, we put him in a crate. And then after that, he hadn't. Uh, so I've been working from home the last couple of days. Not yesterday, though. Uh, so he holds for, I would say, at least like four or five hours now. Um, he had a little accident in the house while we had him out, uh, but uh, overall it's pretty good, going pretty good. He loves being outside with his mama. Yeah, yeah. if you guys uh, didn't see the last video I posted on YouTube channel and Facebook of him and Belle playing outside, they have lots of fun. She's, she's real good about staying with him. Yeah. She can't stay. Uh, he knows, Tormund knows now how to use doggy door. Oh, what? He doesn't know what it's for yet, but he knows how to use it. So, uh oh, is somebody thinking? Yeah. Um. <laughs> so, uh, I know, Jessica, you have doggy door, or you don't? Do you? No, you don't. Uh, okay, well, there are ways to get a doggy door for balcony sliding. doors, for sliding doors, for whatever doors you have. So yeah, look into that. It's going to be much easier to have a dog and everybody actually, every everybody who's watching, if you have a backyard, consider getting a doggy door. That's the best invention ever. You don't have to worry about dogs, you know, messing up your house. Um, really easy to train. I know that uh, some of our previous owners, they taught the bell ringing, they have like a little bell by the door and uh, Grady, that's the name of the uh, corgi pup they have from us he would basically ring that little bell when he wants to go out um, yeah do you, do you need to feed, feed him? yeah yeah let's, let's give him some food let's see what these guys do about food oh look at that face all about that face, all that face. Ah, hi, Percy. Hi, Percy. Oh. Hi, Percy. And then Nike is being asleep right here. Everybody's figuring out how to comment. Tiffany said, "Oh, so this is how you comment." Oh, is, is it not? It it's. I think it's like chat on a side. If you're doing from the desktop. <laughs> And on the phone, I don't know, how do you comment? Figure it out. This is... Okay, so she's on YouTube... Hey, 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 buddy. She's on YouTube app. And, uh... So there is the live chat. When the video is there, it's click. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And then you put right there. Oh my goodness! Tommy. Just said, I want to bell train Tormund, and Tiffany said we were trying to bell train Erie. Well, if y'all want to know, ask, ask Sherry and Julie. They yeah. want to do it. Sherry, Malta, and Julie, Malta, they are two sisters, have Grady, they live in Louisiana. They train him to do a, oh my goodness, to do a bell, ring, bell ringing. Um, as far as I understand and know, it's basically when you teach them you have a little bell and you ring yourself when before you let them out 
and then uh, over time they just get that they need to ring the bell. Ah, he knows that sound. Look at that face. Yeah, good boy. Hi, Percy. Let's see what she does about it and how Tormund reacts to it. He should be fine because he just was eating with 10 more siblings. <laughs> she, she seems to like it. That's how it smells. Doesn't know what to do with it yet. Steph said, Hugo Monty are barking at the computer. <laughs> And Toby said, Tormund sounds exactly like Hugo. Um, if you guys know anybody who is interested in giant breed dogs, please let them know that we have at least one of the Caucasian Shepherds available. Just you. Um, and let them contact us. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, what is it, buddy? <laughs> Did you hear him? Tiffany asked how much you're feeding Torment. I feed him probably like three fourths cup a day. Yeah. Three fourths cup a day, uh, split into two times a day. Man, Percy is trying to get in there. Um, uh, the easiest way to figure out how much your dog needs to eat uh, is just <laughs> when, when you do it first time, give them like kind of like a almost like free, free feeding, but measure it. Right, so give them like half a cup, uh, half a cup, uh, let them eat it, give them another half a cup, let them eat it until they don't eat anymore. They're going to look like they're going to explode. So let's say you fed them half cup and a half. At that point, deduct one half cup, so 30%. And that's, a go that's going to be your uh, daily amount, okay? It's the easiest way to do. And then just look at how they uh, maintain their weight. You know, if you see them becoming too fat, when they're puppies, it's kind of okay. When they're a little bit on the chunky side. Um, but then when they start growing up, then that's what you need to maintain. Especially with corgis, they are so food motivated. They're gonna gorge themselves to death. Yeah, so we have a sleeping kingdom here. Uh, that one is Eos, a oh, big girl. And this one is a Nike here. Yeah. yeah. This is Tormund. He probably needs some water too. I didn't give him a little bit of water. And that one is Percy. Percy. She's the more. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> They're so cute, guys. Yeah, look at their paws. It's uh, like you, not, you don't see many dogs with this type of paws when they have this. Pigmentation. <sighs> Hi, Tormund. Hi, Tormund. Do we have any more questions? Any comments? Anything like that? Oh, another one stretching. No. no? Well, okay, folks. Uh, we're going to have another stream this Sunday, most likely, unless we go to 
San Antonio again. Uh, it's at 2 o'clock on Sunday. If it's going to be uh, not wet outside, it's not going to be raining, then we're going to do a stream from outside and we're going to have Simba out. Simba is dad of these Caucasian shepherds. Uh, so we'll show you how he is, what he looks like. Uh, you can always see pictures of him on our Facebook. Um, yeah, so Sunday 2 o'clock, our usual time of our weekly um, live stream. Um, and we're going to be finishing up for now, unless you guys have any questions. Um, we're going to be wrapping up. No questions. All right, folks. Thanks for watching. Please share this stream. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like our page. Join our Limitious Family group on Facebook. Our Instagram is instagram.com slash I'm going to put all those links in the description of, the, uh, of this video on YouTube so you can find it all. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. And we'll see you later. Bye-bye, guys.